All right, so I'm sorry to say, but we are going to use this brawl video on the determine on who is going to go up against the flex hammer drill, uh, turbo hammer drill. When I was filming the actual contest to see who's going to go up, uh, go up against flex, I actually broke the Hilti. Battery is full. All right, so ready? Go. What? I wonder how that happened. All what happened is the screw that it goes inside is snapped and that is stuck inside. So I'm pretty much never going to be able to get that out. We're going to have to use this video to determine on who is the winner for the, for the flex. All right, so just so you guys know, today is April 18th of 2021. I just ordered the flex turbo brushless hammer drill kit with the five amp hour battery and two amp hour battery so that's coming in a couple days the reason why we're doing this video today is because today i looked at the videos that i did a year ago and those tests are actually garbage now throughout the years my tests were getting harder and more extremer and i learned what tools are good for what i need to go to the store today because i just realized that i don't have the uh, any more one and a half spade bits, so I got brand new Diablo blades. Now, I, we are going to use the Ryobi to break uh, one of these in because no tool in my test gets a sharp blade if I'm using the same blade amongst them all. So we're going to do a couple of holes with the Ryobi. We are not going to be using one inch self-driving spade bits for stuff like this because th this, task is not, this task isn't hard enough. It, it's not. Ryobi can do this within a couple of seconds. Ready, go. See, it stops. And same thing with Cobalt, and that's why Cobalt's not in here or Ryobi because the, these tests that I'm doing are gonna be hardcore tests and something like a one inch spade bit, it's not, it's not hard enough. So Ryobi can do that on speed too with ease. So, all right, so the test that we are gonna do is we are gonna do a one and a half inch spade bit, a one and a quarter inch speed bore, a one and a half inch speed bore, and then each of them are gonna drive in a 10 inch lag without a pre-drill hole. It is not all the other brands fault that Makita doesn't have a 21700 cell battery. Makita, you need to make 21700 cell batteries. I've been, say, I've been saying this to you for about a, over a year now. And also it's not the other tool brands fault that Hilti doesn't have a six amp hour battery. So for the Hilti, we are using a four amp hour battery with uh, 2700 cells in it. And for the Makita, we are using a five amp hour battery with 18650 cells because that's the best I have. I do not have a six amp hour battery. Not that it matters. All right, so when it comes to the specs, I'm gonna uh, put the model number and specs within the lower third as I do the first task of the tool. But uh, we're also not gonna do concrete. I do not want this to be like a 30 minute video. So uh, let's get to it. And like I said in a previous uh, video that I just uploaded, these Milwaukee gloves suck. They they tear up way too quickly. But unfortunately by me, it's the only thing that I can get around here. Like they don't sell Makita or any other brand gloves other than like Ace brand, but I want, I want a tool brand. Unfortunately, that's the case in my situation. All right, so let's wear this out a little bit. This is the three amp hour 21700 cell battery. It's full. It's an inch and a half, right? This, this drill cannot, uh, this Ryobi brand new HP hammer drill cannot do it on speed two. See, it stops. It can't do it. So speed one's required. That's why I use, that's why I use the more powerful, the bigger bits because stuff like this makes tools fail. So, but if you go to speed one, it'll finish it. Let's do one more. Oh, I love that smell of fresh, freshly cut wood. I'm gonna have a lot to sweep up after this episode. All right, like I said, I'll put the specs in as I do the, uh, the first test of each tool. Now this, go, this clutch goes to 100, like 100 and like 10, it's crazy. Battery is full on the Octane 6 amp hour. 
It is on speed two. It is on drill. That's right there is good. All right, so ready? Go. It's through. It's through. It gets caught up on the bottom. Yeah, I, I feel the spade bit's right there. Yeah, it's, it's stuck. There we go. Got it. There we go. All right, so next, let's do the Makita. This is model number XPH14. I'll say the model number. There we go. It's on drill, speed two. Battery is full. We'll check, check battery life at the end of the video. No need to keep on doing that per test. All right, right here is good. Actually, we'll go down. Ready? Go. See, it's through. There we go. That is the Makita. All right, next we'll do the Milwaukee. This is model number 28042-20. It's on drill, it's on speed two. Battery is full. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Yeah, it's through. Am I bad? Uh, I'm not using the hammer, uh, the handle. It's okay. I'm not putting any pressure on it. The tool is doing the work. There we go. All right, so next we'll do the Hilti. This is model number SF6HA22. Now, Hilti does make a drill driver in this in another country. The exact same, uh, uh, almost the exact same drill, but without the hammer feature. America got the uh, compact version. It's on drill, speed two. Battery is full. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. It's through. As you can see, it happens to all of them, especially with this big of a spade bit. Just gotta be careful taking it out. And the last one for this test is the DeWalt Power Detect. Battery is full. It's model number DCD998. I got a video coming out. I get this against the flexible advantage. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Up, drill, speed three. Ready? Go. Wow. Damn. It's through, it's getting stuck on the bottom. See, it's through, it just gets stuck on the bottom. So this is, this is what happens. It gets caught on, it gets caught on this stuff and it just, uh, and yeah. So they're all through though, they're all through. All right, from here on out, every single tool has a handle because this requires it. Way too much friction with the speed bore. It's on uh, drill. It's on drill, speed two. Do it right here. Do actually do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. Ooh, it failed. See, and this is, this is the kind of test 
that separates the big boys from the little boys. It failed. And I honestly thought that this would be able to do it. It failed on speed too. Let's go up a little bit. It failed on speed too. So this is not, this is disqualified. So rigid is disqualified. See, like I said, this type of stuff. And there's a bit, I have a bigger one too. So, all right, so next let's do the Makita. It's on drill, speed two. All right, let's see what the, what the result for the uh, Makita is. All right, so ready? Wait a little bit more. I don't want it feeding into the other hole. Ready, go. Oh, it failed. Yep, Makita is out of the picture. Not powerful enough. And for the Makita, we are using a five amp hour battery with 18650 cells because that's the best I have. I do not have a six amp hour battery. Not that it matters. Sorry, Makita fans. All right, so that disqualifies Makita and Rigid. All right, so next, let's do the Milwaukee. Like I said, literally separates the big boys from the, the little boys from the big boys. I'll do it right here. The, I know, Milwaukee could do this. Milwaukee could do this easily. All right, so ready? Go. Time. See, Milwaukee is a big boy. All right, so let's do the Hilti next. It is on drill, speed two. Do it right here. A little bit more, there we go. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, then last, which I think this is gonna be the winner, but the times will tell is the DeWalt Power Detect because the DeWalt could do this on speed three. It's that powerful. All right, so ready, go. Wow, that is powerful. See, like I said, speed three, the other DeWalt uh, full-size hammer drills can't do that on speed three, but the power detect can. Let's bump it up to an inch and a half speed bore. All right, so uh, Makita and uh, Rigid are disqualified. Uh, with, that's not gonna be big enough. That, this is a beast. It is, it's a beast. All right, it is on drill, it's on speed two. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Bam, look at that hole, that hole is, that's, that's big. All right, so Hilti is next. Speed two, it is on drill. Right here is good. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so ready, go. Oh, doesn't matter. Hilti failed, Hilti is out. Doesn't matter, Hilti is out. And also it's not the other tool brand's fault that Hilti doesn't have a six amp hour battery. Battery is still, battery's full. Hilti has been disqualified. All right, so then all that's left is the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. I'm pretty sure that these tools can do that task, but in this video, they failed, so they're disqualified. Like I said, in a, like I said in a previous video, every tool, uh, no tool operates the same, the exact same time. No tool operates the same. Right here is good. There was like, there's probably like about a half inch left, half inch uh, wood left in there, but oh well. 
Speed three, drill. All right, ready? Go. Wow. All right, so. All right, so because this has it, this, this requires speed two on this one. That's the benefit of having this DeWalt. It does have a speed three and a speed two. The speed three is powerful, but some tasks require speed two. So now this is, uh, the speed is on the setting like all the others. This is the exception. If you don't like it, too bad. All right, right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now it's time for the, the 10 inch lag. We're gonna do it right here. I do need a step, a little step, so I could be above the, the screw. All right, now both, every tool to do this job requires speed one. Speed two is too, uh, speed two is too weak for all of them. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. And that, the chuck came undone. Bet you that's twisted. It rounded it up the edges a little bit because this is such a hardcore test. This is why I go through, one reason why I go through bits like crazy. All right, gotta retighten that. All right, if it's if uh, the motor does not start back up, it failed. All right, ready? Go. Time. So that is that time. I do not know what the time is until I edit the video. Well, let's do the DeWalt. And also, this is a chuck killer too. This uh, doing this test actually broke the one of my uh, Makita drills because the chuck just couldn't take it and it gave in. All right, so speed one, because I guarantee you it can't do it on speed two or three. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Oh. Ready? A little bit more towards over here. Ready? Go. See this, this is a hardcore test. A little bit more. I think that's it actually. Yep, that's it. See that is a hardcore test. That is, that is the test that will break tools. That is what I do on this channel. I get tools to fail. All right, so let's take those out if they can. And I saved this spot for, I saved this area right here specifically for this, uh, for a video like this, because this is the a, a very dense area to where it's not as uh, dense in the middle or the, or this edge. This is a very dense area right here. So that's why. I chose this spot. Hardcore test. All right, let's see if I can take this out safely. I'm hoping I can. Just got a brace for the first impact. All right, ready? Go. Oh. Time. I'll stop the timer at the, at the proper time. Yeah, this adapter is not going to last too much longer. But that's what I do. All right, we got it in speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Oh, I'm gonna start the timer back up, it's not out. Time, I'll stop the timer at the proper time. All right, but when it comes to these two, the last test is based on time. 
All right, so because that 10 inch lag, like I said in a couple, in a couple of videos, that 10 inch lag is what separates the men from the boys. So on this channel, that flex is not gonna have it easy. You guys are gonna get a run for your money. So please subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be a good one, you guys. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.